Hey guys, my name is Rebecca, aka The Embodied Cat, and today we're shooting at a nice restaurant. It's one I've known of for a really long time, but I haven't had the pleasure to go yet. It is Ladybird. Ladybird is owned by the same, I think, like parent company as Saran Sam, Avant Garden, and like one other restaurant, I think. I honestly don't know much about the place other than the food looks amazing and I've only ever heard good things, so I'm really looking forward to trying things out. Without further ado, let's go. For reference, here is Saran Sam that I shot at a few weeks ago, and literally right next door is Ladybird. They have this cute little pink area set up outside for you to sit, but I'm going to try to sit against the white wall with this handsome gentleman right here. Yo, I did not know. I was like, who is this person? <laughs> for anyone who's interested in the menu, here is the scanner. I'll hold it in place right here. Not gonna lie, this is probably the coolest restaurant thing since coronavirus. I can easily show you guys the menu. It is a little gloomy today, so I don't know how the lighting will be, but we will manage. It's gonna be worth it for the food, I already know. At least I hope so. Okay, so I just ordered. Let me tell you what I got. Don't worry, you will see Roberto in this video. It's just that it can't, the camera can't get both of us in this angle. So we got a cocktail. It's called the Ladybird Reunion. It has Lilit Rose, Rose, Lemon, Basil Syrup, Passion Fruit, Tiki Bitters, and Muddled Basil. And then to eat, we got Buffalo Maitake Buns mushroom and onion toast, green pea fritters, and I honestly got the green pea fritters because it comes with lemonade on the side, and I just want to see if they did real lemonade justice. And we got truffle mac and cheese because I can't not get mac and cheese at a restaurant, especially if it's a fancy one, so we're just waiting for the food to come. So our drink came, we decided to split one drink, and it, it's so cute, we have these little strawberry ice cubes, and the drink itself came in what looks like a hot sauce bottle, but um, Roberto can do the honors of combining the two elements together. That's good. That's good. It is very good. I spilled a little bit. That's freaking delicious. Nine and a half out of ten. Nine and a half out of ten. Oh, I don't know why it looks so dark. Anyway, so these are the green pea fritters. Here we go, up close maybe? Yeah, that's a little bit better. And the lebony to dip it in. I'm pretty excited, mostly for the dip, honestly. I'm gonna uncoolly use my hand. Here's a little fritter. They said it's kind of like a falafel, except different. Okay, it doesn't taste like lebony. <laughs> I was excited, I was hoping it would, but. It is very good though. Like, the outside is super crispy and light. The inside is warm and soft and, oh, more food! Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I smelled the truffle as soon as he put it down. Thank you so much. Right? That was good. That was really good. It's so like crispy and light and the sauce is like tangy. I wouldn't say it tastes like real, like lebony. Cause lebony itself is like a cross between yogurt and cheese and it's like, like really thick and stuff. This is kind of watery, you know what I mean? Maybe coconut? It's absolutely delicious and I'll give it a nine out of 10. Also a nine. Freaking delicious, a great start. Here's the truffle mac and cheese. It looks so good. It's, I wish you guys can smell it. The truffle smell is so incredibly strong. There's mushrooms and breading on top and what looks like really thinly sliced seaweed. And that's how it looks like on the inside. Very creamy, very crunchy. Has a little bit of spice to it too. You need to try that. It looks like little elbow pastas. A classic. That's really good. Oh yeah, it is spicy. It hits you at the end, but... It's spicy right at the end of your bite. And the balance of the creaminess of the pasta with the crunchiness of the topping is like... amazing. And the truffle is like hella strong, but it doesn't overpower the creaminess in general. Nine or ten? Yeah, no, I was thinking like a nine point five or ten. Okay, yeah, nine point five. Has to be up there, so. We'll we'll agree on a nine point five. It is really really good. Don't feed Birdo. He's a grown man. Here, feed feed me. <laughs> I scooped it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll give it a ten. It's fine. It can have it. It deserves it. 
that's delicious. But the truffle flavor is strong, so a 10 if you like truffle, and then if you don't, I guess just don't get it. But for everyone with a truffley palette, then thumbs up. So when I decided to come here, this is what I was um, recommended to get. It's the Buffalo Maitake Buns. It's a steamed bao bun, pickled celery, and ranch. So that is, or that, there we go. That is a pickled celery with ranch. And obviously the big chunk in the middle is the mushroom. I feel like it's so dark. Let me try to get some better light. Oh, here we go, I have an idea. There we go, now you guys can see this a little bit better. Look at that beauty. It almost looks like they put a whole chicken wing in there. Bro, they literally took wings and made it fancier. That's the best way I could describe it. Have, have Birdo. Birdo. You're right. <laughs> have you ever wanted Sunday night wings, but at a fancy experience, these are for you. So it is delicious, but I'm not gonna rate it as high as the other things because like flavor profile wise, it's not as like cool. So eight out of 10. You stole my number. No, you copy me. You go first. Next time, let me go first. I really like the spice here, but I also like that the bun kind of balances out the spice because it's like a little bit like sweeter and softer. No, 8.5. So a few things, I was able to ask about the Slebni and the base is coconut yogurt as I suspected. This tasted so amazing, so I asked the staff what the cheese is made out of and the answer really surprised me. They said Violife Parmesan and Daya Mozzarella. If this isn't the fanciest Daya Mozzarella I've ever seen, then I don't know what is. That being said, let me show you two more things. So our onion mushroom toast finally came out, it has a a uh, garlic spread underneath and then a ton of adorable mushrooms on top and some fried onions and this is the potato gratin gratin i think um it's basically potato caramelized onions and a cauliflower cheese sauce correction it's follow your heart okay so so roberto doesn't copy me i'm gonna have him try the toast first i changed the last one it was 8.5 Yo, I made a mess. I can't talk yet. I think I stained my jeans. No! It's so creamy. Look how cute the mushrooms are. Don't rate it. Okay. The mushrooms are lemony, and the onion and garlic is like a sweet onion and garlic. It's not very strong. And the bread is very fluffy. I think I would give this one an 8. Or maybe like a 7.75. I'll give it an 8. Maybe we just have similar taste buds usually. Ew. One more thing to go. It's like if you wanted potato leek soup, but edible instead of drinkable. It's creamy, potato-y, onion-y, vegetable-y. Very comforting. And the potatoes aren't mushy, they're like just cooked. So they're fully cooked through, but they don't, they still hold their shape, if you know what I mean. Mmm. Dig in there a little bit. Habit. Pretty creamy, definitely oniony for sure. I'm a fan of how they slice the potatoes. It's pretty good. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half, and Roberto gave it a seven and a half. So we're trying to figure out whether or not to order chocolate fondue for dessert. Hey babe, thumbs up for chocolate fondue, thumbs down for chocolate fondant. We chocolate fondue. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. It's heated by a candle and they give us a bunch of fruit to dip in. I mean, not gonna lie, I was like hoping for bread and marshmallows, but I'll take fruit. I'll do a strawberry, I'll be classic. That is so good, wait. I'm like putting an incredible amount of chocolate on the fruit and also trying not to drip it. 10 out of 10, can't. The chocolate is just so dark and good. Apple dipped in chocolate. Pineapple is the best. Yeah, I think so too. Grape with chocolate is a bad combination. Strawberry is good, apple is good, pineapple is amazing, grape is weird. I could drink the chocolate. I could drink it. I don't know what chocolate they use, but it's amazing. 10. Copycat. All right, so low key, this could be a date all in itself. Like if you didn't want to go out for a whole meal, we've just had so much fun with just the chocolate and the fruit. 
Also, it's a good thing they took the spoons away because I would be eating the chocolate with a spoon and embarrassing Roberto. After you're done with the fondue, you can warm your fingers by the fire. All right, my friends, we are done with a fantastic meal. One of the best meals I've had in a long time. Honestly, the best meal I've had since going to Monarch. Do you agree? Yes. Come here. Best meal I've had since going to Monarch. My recommendation would be 100% the truffle mac and cheese and the pea fritters, also the drink and the fondue. But you could also just come and get drinks and fondue. I feel like that'd be a really fun date. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too, but I think if we were to come back, we would have to get the mac and cheese. We'd have to. Sure. It was it was too good to not. Like as I was trying all the other foods, I kept on eating the mac and cheese in between everything because I couldn't stop. I just couldn't stop. And now I'm way too full and I'm regretting it, but whatever. You know, how often you get to eat like truffle mac and cheese. That is all I have for today. <sighs> Unfortunately, I can feel the countdown until I could no longer shoot videos outside anymore. We were quite cold during this video and yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen to my is it hypes during the winter out here. We're gonna see what happens. Um, anyway, so like if you like, subscribe, show to subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. I Google right and that is all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, and Angie. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.